Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and today I'm going to do a full, in-depth, hands-on review of Lightner's flagship headset, the LH270 single-ear wireless headset. Again, this is the LH270 single-ear wireless headset. It is, as the name implies, wireless, and most importantly, this is actually the headset that I personally use in the office every day that is connected to my IP phone. So um, before we hop into this review, I just want to give a shameless plug and thank you to the boys and girls over at headsets.com. This headset was sent to me free of charge by headsets.com to do a full hands-on in-depth review. So if you like what you see in this video and you're interested in more information on this headset, I'll have a direct link to it on their website below the video, as well as a coupon code that they've given me specifically for our channel for you guys to get a 10% off discount on not only this headset, but anything else that they carry. Again, came from headsets.com. These guys are awesome. Their customer service is great, and they've got a whole assortment of, of different types of headsets for whatever your VOIP headset needs may be, you know, compatible with whatever phone or phone system that you're using. So anyways, with no further ado, let's jump right into this video and see what we got. All right, all right, we're back. So here is the actual headset itself, the Lightner LH270 wireless single ear headset. Now, to be clear, I'm not going to get into a, you know, even though I stated in the beginning of this video that this is the one that I personally use that is connected to my IP phone over here, I'm going to try to keep this review as non-biased and objective as possible. For those of you who'd like to see my more you know, fun and biased review towards the headset and why I use it. I did a separate video called what I actually use for my IP phone or IP phones and set up in the office. And I talk about my desk phone, my cordless phone and this headset and go into details about why I personally like it and why I use it and much more. But for the purposes of this video, as always, we're going to keep it objective. We're going to do a review. So first of all, actually, let me show you guys something and then we'll come back to the headset. First of all, one of the things that this headset has, but seems to be standard with headsets.com, five-year warranty. As you can see on the box here, longest of any headset brand. This is actually true. These guys boast and claim to have one of the best uh, industry standard warranties out there. They, they beat most of the industry standard, uh, you know, with, with whatever their warranty, you know, extension or warranty duration or uh, stipulations are. Um, their customer service was actually pretty good too. So I wanted to throw a shameless plug out there for that as well. I'm going to do a separate video talking about the customer service that I experienced when working with headsets.com because I didn't have a clue how to set this thing up and I'll explain that to you guys shortly and you'll see why. But before we move on, again, this was the box that came in. Um, Lightner LH270 wireless single ear headset and five year warranty on this bad boy. And then, of course, their number, easy to find without me having to Google it or anything like that uh, if, if I needed help, which I did seek. So let's see what's actually what was actually inside this box, then we'll jump into the headset itself. So inside the box, of course, was the headset, which is obviously removed because it's set up on my desk. They had a really nice quick start uh, setup guide here. Um, I was able to use most of this up to the point where I had to actually pair this thing with my phone, which was a whole other ball game, um, which I'll show you guys what was involved in that. Also had some, you know, free shipping and returns. Um, that's another thing about uh, Lightner that I'm going to throw out there again, or headsets.com. They actually allow, like, try before you buy and free returns with prepaid packing label of all of their products. You can even try their products. I believe it's up to 30 days or something like that. It might be 60 days for one or more of your staff members. And if you don't like it, you send it back. You don't pay anything. It's actually pretty impressive. And I've talked with a lot of companies that have used this program and really liked it. Here is the user manual here for the Lightner LH270 as well as an LH275. I'm not sure what the 275 is. It must be like a step up or something, but you know, we're not going to go into total detail of this, but this is the user manual that is in here that looks like it goes far more in depth than the actual uh than the actual um quick start guide does. I haven't really messed with this cuz I haven't needed to and I've been using this thing quite a bit for, at this point, probably well over 200 phone calls in the two to three weeks that I've had it. 
Inside the box was multiple adapters. I'm actually utilizing a couple of them and then an extra one that they had to send me for my particular phone. But um, this is basically like an RJ, a USB uh, adapter for it. Uh, if your IP phone supports USB, and this is like an RJ9 if your IP phone supports RJ9. At the time of this video, most all phones support USB and older phones support RJ9. So most newer phones support, uh, most newer phones support both of these. Okay, so now to get into the real reason why we are here. As you can see, this thing has a base. When I opened this thing up, I was actually really impressed. It's a little heavy, the base, nothing too terrible. But I knew when I opened up the box full of headsets that they sent me for review. When I picked up the box that it came in here with this in it, I knew this was something else different or something special because the base weighed a lot compared to the other, you know, typical freestanding head, uh, wired headsets like this one over here that were in the other boxes of what they sent me. So it definitely feels like quality. It's a really nice, like, matte black uh, I believe it's plastic. Yeah, like a matte black plastic. It's got the Lightner logo over there, Lightner headsets. And it's kind of like, it's got like a little lip on the dock that you put the headset on through the little hole that you can see right here in the middle of the screen. But it's also magnetic. So it's got like an actual, you know, when you get to about right here, you can kind of feel it, pull it out of your hand with, with a tiny bit of magnetic force. It's nothing too terrible, but if you watch that close enough, you can see that it's, that it's definitely got a little bit of a magnetic grab there, if you're watching close enough. So um, that's a really nice touch. I love how it looks on the desk with the whole suspended look. That's really awesome. It's a really nice touch, and I dig it. So on the dock here, as you can see, there's a battery meter. Um, this thing has a lot of battery life, you guys. I mean, for those of you who may or may not know, I do upwards of anywhere from about 11 to sometimes 15 to 17 conference calls a day, with the average call lasting me anywhere from about, I would say, 30 minutes to sometimes as high as an hour, hour and a half if it's an in-depth demo for a mid-size to larger client. In short, I probably easily put about five to six hours of talk time on this thing a day. Now, obviously... I can't be charging this thing while I'm talking on it and while it's on my head, which I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on my head later. We'll do that towards the end of the video, but obviously I can't be charging it while it's on my head. I have never seen this battery meter, as you can see here. It's got four light segments. If you guys can see that at the right angle there, back it up a bit. There you go. It's got four light segments. I've never seen this thing go below three light segments. So I've ever, I've only ever seen it lose one segment, like right there, meaning it's still got about 75% charge or so approximately. Um, how long it takes to charge, I'm not really sure. I hadn't really ever paid attention yet to how long it took to go back up, but it's definitely got a really nice battery life on it from what I've experienced thus far. As you can see, also, the dock has a power indicator basically saying that it is, um, you know, connected uh, to power. What you've got here, this has the ability to be connected to your computer. Like if you're going to basically use the headset for like a virtual meeting, maybe through like a voice over IP desktop app or something that you may have or through Zoom or through GoToMeeting or, you know, Vonage meetings, Amazon Chime, Ring Central meetings, whatever it may be. It has the ability for you to have this base connected simultaneously to your phone, which like I have it here, and then have it connected simultaneously to your computer. What this basically means is, is that with just a flick of a button, it won't work because I don't have it hooked to my computer right now, but if I did through USB, that's what that USB cable you saw was for, I would be able to switch back and forth between computer and phone and just, you know, keep the headset on my head and not have to deal with messing with wires or anything like that. That's a really, really nice touch with this thing. So I took the headset off the base, as you can see up here, so that you guys can see what we've got here. You've basically got your power cable here, which I did have plugged up, but I had to unplug it to turn this around uh, 360 for you guys to see it. You've got the USB, that's like a mini USB uh, port, which the adapter I showed you in the box has a plug that would go directly into like a laptop or something like that. You've got Ethernet here, 
which um, I don't really think this thing needs internet, but somehow, some way, it, it attaches to an adapter, which I'll show you guys in a minute. We won't go into too much review on the adapter, because that's not the point of the video, but I'll show you guys how this thing is hooked to my phone. It's really strange, which was why I had to use uh, customer care to help me figure it out, because I couldn't figure it out to save my life through the quick start guide, but even then, customer care got me sorted out, and I swear, guys, it was like... I wasn't on hold more than maybe 35 seconds and the customer care guy, after he introduced himself and asked me to explain what I needed set up and what model I had, he had me set up and I don't even think it was five minutes, guys. I wasn't even on the phone 10 minutes max. Like it was maybe six minutes, seven minutes tops. Um, this looks like an RJ9 of some sort over here, maybe. Again, I'm not the expert on all of these interfaces when it comes to mics and all that stuff, but I just wanted you guys to see the back, what, what's here on the uh, thing. One other thing that they have on this, and let me turn that around so you guys can read the label correctly. If you see here where my hands are, there's a DHSG RHL, and then there's another thing here that's a dial that goes from one through six. I don't exactly know what all of this is, but it has something to do with whatever model phone you are trying to connect this to and pair this with. Whether it be a Polycom or a Yealink or a Fanville, you know, or a Panasonic or VTech or, you know, Grandstream, whatever it may be, the settings have to be different based on whatever phone model you have that you're trying to pair it with. I know when I contacted Lightner's support and said, hey, I need help connecting this up. I have no clue what I'm doing. The first thing the guy asked me was, what model headset do you have? And I told him, and then he said, what model phone do you have? Uh, that you're trying to connect this with and I told him and he said okay turn it over and follow my instructions and in less than two seconds he had me flip these dials to the corresponding values and then you know that was it and then he said let's go ahead and plug this up step by step so now that we have covered the base and a little bit about you know this headset where it came from and Lightner let's talk about the actual headset itself the actual um, buttons and the interface on it as you can see it's got a really, really comfortable plush uh, headset. It's like a pleather, like it feels like a very soft leather. Um, it's obviously not leather. It's some sort of pleather or something, but it's very soft. It feels really good on the ears and whatnot. Um, it's got a microphone that, as you can see, can pretty much move around. I believe it's almost 360, so it looks like if you wanted this on your left ear or your right ear, you could actually do that now that I realize that. Um, I have it set, you know, to where it goes on my right ear. I just feel more comfortable that way, but it looks like you could put it on the left or whatever if, if you wanted to. It's really a personal preference, I guess. If you look at this thing on the control level, you've got four functions here. You've got a volume up here, you've got a volume down, and I've used this during calls. This thing, you know, you can go pretty low in volume, but it can get really loud. I mean, I was actually surprised at how loud this is. For those of you who may or may not know, I've got two dogs that are crazy. Big dogs that bark a lot outside if I'm talking outside. And I've also got um, five kids. So sometimes, not always, but sometimes I need to cut the sound up a bit to be able to hear over whatever's happening in the background. And it goes pretty loud. You can also minimize the sound with this, of course. And this button here in the middle is actually to mute a call in progress. You press it once to mute it and then you press it again to unmute. Now this button here, it does a few different things. If I wanted to make a call or at least get a dial tone while this thing is on my ear, I can press this button and it should light up. Oh, that's right. I need to power the uh, thing back up. Sorry about that guys. Hold on. Okay. Now we're cooking with fire guys. So this button here, does a few things. As you can see, I just cut it on, cut it off. What it is doing that you can't see, let's see if we can focus over there temporarily, is it's actually opening up the, you can probably hear a dial tone. Yep, it's doing a dial tone, and it's actually opening up, I'll press that button again so you guys can see it. It's taking my phone that it's paired with back to dial tone mode, where I can navigate around and pick a number that I wanna call like so, or hang up a call. So it allows you to, that button essentially allows you to 
initiate a dial tone so that you can start dialing from your, uh, you know, your, your phone that it's companioned with or allows you to hang up a call. It also allows you to answer a call if you get a call that beeps in as well. And I've used that before as well. So um, pretty self-explanatory, dial tone on, dial tone off, or answer a call that's beeping. The headset does actually adjust a little bit. It's got a little bit of play, if you can see here, from left to right, if you guys can see that, which is kind of nice because this is going to sound really crazy, but I like to eat a lot when I'm at my desk sometimes. And sometimes if I'm on a call and I'm eating something, I try to turn this away a bit so that you know I don't like stick the tip of the mic into a sandwich or into a spoonful of soup or something like that that I'm eating. The headset on this is adjustable. It's not very adjustable I noticed but it's got some play into it as you can see here. So I have a very small head but for people that have big heads or maybe have a lot of hair and you got to get around hair I, I don't know I can't really say whether this is a good or bad amount of adjustability leeway. I, I couldn't tell you, but I mean, I've not had any actual issues with it of my own. It's, it's very comfortable on my head. And that actually brings us to our next and final portion of the review of the LH270 uh, Lightner wireless one ear headset. So basically, it's really light, you guys. It's really light. It feels super comfortable. I'll let you guys see it from a profile view there. Super light, super comfortable. I can't tell you how many times I've been using this thing and I finished up a call and I've been looking around the office for it or asking my wife, where's my headset? Because I don't see it on the dock and I don't see it anywhere and it's on my ear. It is super duper comfy on my ear. This has got good leeway. I, I, I just can't explain to you guys how light this thing is. It's super, super light, very comfortable and it doesn't have too much force in the curve over part over my head. It doesn't feel like it's clamping my skull. It just kind of fits like a glove, more or less. Last but not least, I want to talk to you guys about the actual call quality and noise cancellation of the Lightner LHS uh, LH270. So two things. Number one, call quality is great. The tone in my ear when people are talking, just the tone, the pitch, the bass, the quality at which the person that's talking to me sounds like they're coming in, it sounds almost just like if I was holding up like a regular, you know, let's just pull one over here, like a regular receiver like this with a high-end phone, like a Yay Link or Polycom or Cisco or something like that. It sounds completely on par with the same level of quality of output audio into my ear as something like this. Now let's talk about the biggest and best thing that I think is absolutely incredible and impressive about this headset. The noise cancellation you guys on this thing is just incredible. So I think it was the day before yesterday, so perfect timing on this review. I was actually standing in my front yard. For those of you who have watched my older YouTube videos and things like that, you know, you've heard motorcycles pass by here and there and cars, and possibly even the occasional dog bark or something like that. I live, my house sits on a main street. So cars, motorcycles, trucks, you know, warehouse trucks carrying things back and forth for work or for transport pass through here all the time. I literally was talking to somebody about headsets yesterday. Um, so like I said, perfect timing for this video. And they asked me, they said, what's the noise cancellation like on the Lightner or some of the headsets that you've seen with carriers like headsets.com and so on and so forth. And I said, well, I can't speak for all headsets, but the one that I'm wearing right now is great. I told the person, I said, I can't tell you how many times my, dog have, my dogs have barked in the distance or my kids have been two rooms over and screamed or cried or something like that. And the person on the call didn't hear it. And it was so funny because right when the woman and I were talking about this, I said, hey, you know what? I said, a car and a truck are actually coming by. Tell me if you hear this in a minute. I said, hold on. I was standing more or less right at my front gate, which sits two meters from a main road. Car passed by and a truck passed by. I mean, we're talking like a big, you know, t Toyota Tacoma type truck or something like that. It was like a big, like, uh, like, like, like four door truck that somebody would use to haul stuff in, like for work purposes, but like a kind of a luxury truck that was loud, you know, probably my guess is a six cylinder or eight cylinder. This thing drove right by me and the person told me they couldn't hear anything. 
And then lo and behold, right after that, a motorcycle passed by and the person told me they couldn't hear it. Plainly put, Lightner has some of the best noise cancellation that I've seen on any headset out there and I've seen many. I'm not saying that there aren't other good headsets out there that have good noise cancellation, but if you're looking for something that'll dampen the noise on the kids, you know, dampen the noise on whatever it is that may be in your work environment, at your business, or at your home office, I would definitely give these guys a shot. As a matter of fact, below this video, I'll actually post a link to their website where they actually did a sound test on YouTube where you can actually hear not only the quality of this headset, but you can also see what the noise cancellation is like before and after they show you, you know, existing noise in the environment during the test. So anyways, that concludes my in-depth review of the Lightner LH270 wireless one-ear headset. I love it, you guys. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I've got boxes of headsets here that are sent to me by other providers, and this is the one that I use, as you guys just saw. It's connected up to my phone on my desk. Um, again, I did another video where I talked about what's in my office, what do I use, and I went into kind of a more, you know, biased review of why I chose what was uh, what's on my desk and what I use for my day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, phone calls and communication. Um, but I like it. I like how light it is. The noise cancellation is great, which is wonderful for somebody like me that, you know, I've got five kids, I've got two dogs, and I'm working in a home office. I mean, there's also times where my neighbor is cutting grass. I mean, it seems like he cuts grass almost every other day, but people say that they can't hear it when I ask them if they can hear my neighbor cutting grass for the 30th time for the, for the month. So um, anyways, for those of you who are wondering, this headset retails for, I want to say, somewhere around about $250 to $275. It's just right under $300 for the whole kit that you've seen in this video today. However, that is the price before the 10% coupon code that I mentioned at the, at the beginning of the video that I'll have in the description below. And also, Lightner has other promotions and discounts that they have going on all the time. And of course, if you're calling them and you're saying, hey, I need two of those or five of those or 10 of those for you know X amount of employees, they're gonna give you a break. Great headset. If you're watching this video and you found this video um, you know, informative and helpful, please like this video and hit that notification bell. Also, support us by subscribing to the channel. Um, that's pretty much it. Prince Rich, your go-to guy for the best deals on business, phone, and internet service in the United States. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.